after one quarter tonight, Temple has 27, so they're on a pace for 100. Mm -hmm. Then you hold them to eight in the second quarter. What changed between the first and second period? Well, we knew Temple was going to come out in the first quarter like hammering hard because if you look back in previous games, the first quarter is where they just get most of their points. So then we knew that. So we were just trying to like contain them as much as we could. And then when the second quarter came, we knew that they were going to slow down. So we started to pick up our game a lot more. And we decided to play faster, but we also knew when to slow down to make them play defense. So that's playing smart basketball. You faced a team that started five guards. Yeah. Have you faced any teams since you've been in college other than Temple that play five guards at once? And what's the biggest challenges that they present for you when they go to that kind of lineup? Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is the first team that I can think of uh, that has played uh, five guards. Um, usually when that happens, it's a matchup problem. Knowing you got five guards and uh, starting two posts, Typically, um, as a guard, me, I would think um, going one-on-one. -on -one, like, it's an offensive mismatch, but then for us, we can beat them offensively because we can throw it into our bigs and let them do what they do in the post. But other than that, I don't think it messed with us too much. All right, you trailed by 12 after one, and at halftime, you're only down one. What's the message from the coaches or – the conversation among the team like in the locker room at halftime? At halftime, we were um, pretty amped because we knew that we had fought all the way back from the 12 point deficit. So we knew that this was going into the third quarter. We were like, this is our half. We slowed them down, made them kind of not hesitate, but just kind of like slow down. And we were like, we're just going to hammer it down into them. So yeah, we just kept pushing it. You come into this game off of a tough loss at Tulsa where you didn't have your best shooting night. Yeah. Tonight you get 18 points. Offensively, what changed for you? Um, I knew in the Tulsa game that I wasn't my best offensive game. I was one for 12. So I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I decided, like, I knew I had to get in the gym, re-find my shot, figure out what was wrong with it because um, – as a senior and a player, I knew that my team really needs me offensively and defensively, but I knew they need me more. So I just been working on my shot, trying to find it. So it's good to bounce back from one for 12. Your coach was talking about how you often show up in the stat sheet other than in points and all the other stuff, the rebounds and steals and assists. You also had to match up a lot of the night with Aaliyah Butts, who for a while there looked like she couldn't miss. Um, but your coach was very pleased with your defense on her, especially late. Do you get more gratification out of having a big scoring night or matching up with the other team's best offensive threat? Um, I'm not too big into stats, really. Uh, I'm more concerned about the win, but uh, if my assignment was to guard um, number zero, she's fast, uh, then <laughs> I'm going to guard her the best I can. and. That's more important to me because it helps my team more than, I mean, anybody on our team can score. It's nice to have 18, no doubt, but I'm just saying, my, I don't think points is that important. As long as we get the win, however we get it, I'm excited about that. So. You've had a couple of tough, very close losses recently, Tulsa, Mississippi yes. State. When you were in timeouts late in the game, were you, were you and your teammates talking about that at all? Let's finish out here what couldn't be finished out the last time out. Did that come up? Um, yeah. Um, I mentioned that the game is not over. Yeah, it, it's not over until, like, we are at home pretty much. Because I feel like sometimes we don't finish plays, and it was very important for us to get the win today that we finish the game all the way through. And that's pretty much, like, the main topic It's just – finish hard, deny like you've never denied before, get the rebound, just finish strong, because we want to win. You've had a couple of tough losses. You just beat a team that came in with an 8-4 and four record, mm -hmm. having beaten some really good teams, including Florida, which is, what, 11-1 and one or something like that. Considering the games that you've had, 
how gratifying is this win? How big is this win for your team? It's, it's pretty big. Um, it's like, it's kind of like a relief. Um, we, it was a close game, so everybody's like really excited and amped up. So like, I don't know, I'm not sure who we play next. USF, Oof, they better watch out because we're, we are coming. Like I'm so excited, my team is so excited. Like, man, whoa, we're just all happy right now. It's gone with the flow.